Now here the question is let x be set of all the points x comma y which are obtained from the set z cross z. That means both x and y they are integers such that these points they lie inside this ellipse and inside this parabola. So we'll draw the axis. So here x axis is two root two comma zero minus two root two comma zero. So that's your minor axis, and in this case major axis will be root twenty. So that'll be zero comma two root five and zero comma minus two root five. And then we have this parabola. Which is y square equals 5x. Now here we are talking about the region which lies inside this ellipse as well as inside this parabola. So the region we are looking at is this region which is common to both excluding the points on parabola as well as on the ellipse. Now here we need to find how many integral points are possible and this zero it is not included because it lies on parabola. So here we have two cases possible. One is when the value of x is one and second when the value of x is two. So this is when the value of x is 1 and this is when the value of x is 2. Now if we put x as 1, this point on parabola, it will be y square equals root 5. So this point will be 1 comma root 5 and here it will be 1 comma minus root 5. So that means on this line, say L1, the points which are going to have integral coordinates, they'll be one comma zero, one comma one, one comma two, and then one comma minus one and one comma minus two because root five is two point something. So we'll have five points on this line L1. And if we take x as two, then in that case, we'll have y square equals 10 or y equals under root 10, which is three point something. So for L2, we'll have points 2 comma 0, 2 comma plus minus 1, 2 comma plus minus 2 and 2 comma plus minus 3. So here we have five points. And here we have seven points. Now three distinct points P, Q and R are randomly chosen from X. We need to find the probability that P, Q, R form a triangle whose area is a positive integer. Now first we need to find total number of ways of choosing these three points P, Q, R. So total number of ways of choosing P, Q, R. So we have 12 points and of these 12 points we have to select any three distinct points so it can be done 12c three ways so that's our ns total elements in our sample space now we need to find our favorable probability and favorable probability is they form a triangle whose area is a positive integer now they'll form a triangle if we choose one point from L1 and two points from L2 or two points from L1 and one point from L2. So these are the two possible cases. Now for L1 out of these five, we can choose any one point. So one point from L1, it can be chosen in. 5c one way so that's your 
favorable event n a now we have to select two points from l2 such that area of this triangle is an integer now when we talk about points on these lines so there are seven points 2 comma 3 2 comma 2 2 comma 1 2 comma 0 2 comma minus 1 2 comma minus 2 and 2 comma minus 3 and here distance between these two lines it is one unit so this area it will be 1 by 2 into 1 into this d d which is length of the base now this d it has to be an even number now it will be even number if we choose any number from either this set or if we choose any two numbers from this set so there will be two possibilities when we choose any two numbers from this first set distance between those two numbers will be an even number and also from the second set if we choose any two numbers it will again be an even number so here it will be either we can choose any two are these four so this is one two three and four so there will be 4c2 or any 2 out of these 3. So there will be 3c2 plus now the second case when we have 2 points on line 1 and 1 point from line 2. Now 1 point from line 2 it is simple it can be done in 7c1 ways. Now again this distance is 1 we already have 1 point so again this area will be integer if this distance between two points on line L1, it is an even number. Now, if we choose any two points from these three, distance will be even or it could be this. So in this case, it will be either three C2, any two out of these three or 2C2. Now we calculate this. This is going to be 5. Now 4c2 is 6. 3c2 is 3. Plus 7 into 3c2 is 3. Plus 2c2 is 1. So this is 45. Plus 28. And it will be 73. So these three points. They will form a triangle whose area is a positive integer it is 73 and total number of ways that is ns it is 12c3 and 12c3 is basically 12 into 11 into 10 divided by 6 so this is 2 so it will be 220 so this required probability that these three points they will form a triangle will be simply 73 divided by 220 and that's your option B.